Dragon's Log, stardate FKYRMOM. After a lengthy discussion with Commander Riker regarding the unwritten responsibilities of the First Officer, he has temporarily relieved himself of duty, leaving me no choice but to pass his responsibilities on to Lieutenant Worf. Captain, I am not entirely comfortable operating in this capacity. Just keep your tongue out of the way and you'll be fine. Captain, we are picking up a Romulan warbird decloaking directly ahead. They are hailing us. On screen, Mr. Data. Romulan Commander, I trust you are aware that this is not even remotely the neutral zone. As such, I trust you'll dutifully accept the spread of torpedoes I'm about to bestow upon you. Captain Picard, is this a bad time? Captain, perhaps you should, uh... Oh, yes. <coughs> As I was saying, about you being about to die... I would not consider that wise, Captain Picard. For you see, certain individuals within the Romulan Empire have recently brought certain evidence to my attention. Evidence of a certain Starfleet commander engaging in acts which are strictly forbidden by the Treaty of Algeron. I have never crossed the neutral zone. Not once. Not even in my wildest sweaty fantasies. Sounds like you haven't read the entire treaty. It seems the Federation had enough of a problem with Romulan furry porn that they felt compelled to demand its inclusion in the treaty. Since then, certain captains have been known to dabble now and then. Data! You told me those pictures were for your private collection! I assure you, Captain, this is not my doing. You're bluffing, Romulan! You have no such pictures! Really? Then what exactly is this? You must not think very highly of us if you believe we will open an email attachment from a Romulan captain. I also took the liberty of ordering a printout. Behold! Captain, I believe I am experiencing... nausea. Is this a typical reaction in humans? Captain, there seems to be an obvious discrepancy between that photograph and certain characteristics of your anatomy. Yes, I felt it generous to enhance Captain Picard's little warp nacelle. It would not do for the flagship of the Federation to be represented by such a minuscule piece of equipment. All right, Romulan, now you've stepped in it. Mr. Worf, go brush your teeth and then lock phasers on the warbird. Happily, Captain. Phasers locked. You're making a big mistake, Captain. And how is erasing your existence from the cosmos in any way a mistake? You forget one thing. WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! You really expect me to look? Not really, but I'm already cloaked. Bye! Son of a bitch. Captain, the Romulan vessel has sent a mass email to the Federation fleet. Spam filters are responding. Are any of them getting through? It appears that Admiral Dorn has not updated her mail client in quite some time. She is hailing us, on a secure frequency. Tell her I'm in the shower. Set course for Canada, Mr. Data. Course laid in. Captain Picard, what is this filth? Why, Admiral Dawn, I'm surprised to see you. Don't look at me. If you get fired, I get to be captain. Not if I've buried a spoon in your throat, Mr. Wolf. Bring it on, honky. Admiral, I assure you there is a perfectly logical explanation for this, which, rest assured, I am very hastily determining. Captain, this is a very incriminating piece of evidence! You better have one damn fine excuse for why you partook in such clearly icky activities! I, I assure you, Admiral, these photographs are a Romulan forgery. I hope you can prove it! I can, Admiral. Well? Yes, one moment... Oh. Damn. Glad I'm not you. Well, okay, carry on then. Of course, Captain. I don't give a fuck, Mr.